D's turn at the 2017 Kappa Silver Boot. It's the all PlayStation 4 NPL Queensland matchup between Southwest Queensland Thunder and last year's grand final winners, Redlands United. With the Southwest Queensland Thunder in yellow that get us underway in this Sunday afternoon Group D action. Redlands in possession now. Langley. Played on there for Sheriff. As we head towards the half time break, Sheriff now into the box and Alistair Davis. Denied there by the Thunder Keeper in Luke Borean. Borean, the outstretched left hand. Straight into the second half. Thunder now in possession. This is Philip and Crickmore picks up the ball there in the end. Uh, nobody's troubled the scorers so far. Williams goes himself and Crickmore with the diving save down to his left. Free kick taken by Sheridan. Touch on quickly. Fanning. Now it's Williams. Williams, long range effort, denied by the woodwork. And Southwest Queensland Thunder unable to come up with the opening goal here as Matt Williams attempts to drive it through the pack. Sam Roper, good touch on there for Ishimoto. And the referee has blown the whistle for a penalty. Sam Roper and Ishimoto Manabu, the two former Holland Park Hawk players, linking up there. They've both made the shift out to Redlands. And now the penalty attempt from Manabu. Puts it past the keeper. And Redlands have broken the deadlock here midway through the second half. Going out to a 1-0 lead. He's a very happy man usually. Here's Ishimoto Manabu. And celebrating there with Sam Roper. Redlands again in good attacking territory. Will played it on for Halliday it looked like. Who just lost one into the box. Ishimoto again. Beats Borean for the second time this afternoon. And we're just over a quarter of an hour to play. Redlands have doubled their advantage out to 2-0. Two so we just stop each time here. Defended away there by the Thunder. And that's enough for referee Andrew Lindsay. Redlands have scored a 2-0 victory against Southwest Queensland Thunder. Final match to round out week one of the 2017 Kappa Silver Boot. It's the home side, Lions FC, taking on fellow Flight Centre Premier League team, Capella Bar. Lions in the all orange. Get action underway. Simic. Matia Simic there in the number four for Lions. Coming back after a long-term injury suffered in last year's final of the, the Kappa Silver boot. But uh, Lions are giving away the ball here. And Capella Bar almost make them pay for that mistake. Free kick here from Thompson. Just drives it in towards the edge of the 18-yard box. Up there for Brown. Now turned over here for Jamonde for Lions. He's released Butters. And there is Ryan Kokel as well. And he's able to time his shot into the back of the net perfectly. Ryan Kokel brings up the first goal here for the hosts. Poor. Got Jamonde making the run. He spotted him, picked him out. Cut round Chandler though, who's off his line. Will Jamonde be caught offside there? Yes, indeed he was. Shepard. Lions come forward once more again. Jamonde controlling it with the head. Gets the return ball back now, does Jamonde. 
Gets in between the defenders. Jamonde commits Chandler. Didn't quite get enough around him. Let's take a look at this. Jamonde tries to get around Chandler. And he just couldn't tuck it away there in the end. Here's the goal scorer, Kokel. Hoare is able to get around and beat the three Capella Bar defenders. Henry Hoare sizes up the target. And he puts Lions out to a 2-0 lead within 10 minutes of the half-time break. Hoare oh, able to get to the ball. Played it on. Able to react better than the Capella Bar defenders. 2-0 Lions. Shepard. Going down the left wing now. Gaffney. Once again, Jamonde is the target. Jamonde, one on one now here with Chandler. Jamonde, he's done better than the first time round. Able to evade Chandler this time. And Secu Jamonde extends the lead out here for the hosts. Out to 3 0. Moving into second half action. Early corner here for Capella Bar. Cumaneo, who was last year at Rochdale, made the move to Richlands in the off season. Able to grab at the ball. And they've beaten the offside trap here. Have Capella Bar, but unable to beat Brandon Cumaneo at the near post. He's pleading for the assistant to stick up his flag. And on that angle. Good call. Reed and reacted after the pass had already been made. As Lions in their attacking third here. Once more back heel. Off his line comes Sam Chandler. And the fourth goal for Lions comes on the hour mark. Clever little back heel there. And Chris Rates. Brings up the fourth, and Lyons doing it comfortably. Here's again Rate. And Butters there as an option. Instead came Jumonde's way. Now Butters almost found himself in a bit of room. Rate inside the box, and Chandler. Desperate clearance. Nishimaki. Butters. Here's Diaz. And Tynan Diaz. Makes it number five. And Lions look like they'll go straight to the top of Group B after match day one. Did I say Group B? I meant Group D if that was the case. Looking to go on with it here. Rucker. Square ball attempted in. And the Capella Bar defence able to cut it out. Placement keeper here for Capella Bar. Michael Butters now. Oh, and deep off his line. Rucker goes down. And he'll earn the free kick. Fringed upon there by Liam Fisher. So after that free kick, lines again. And the save there. Second look at that one. Good sharp save there by the Capella Bar keeper. Almost about to head into stoppage time. Can Lions come up with an equal half dozen? Shepard just content to be a little patient. Finds Rucker. That'll do it. Lions are 5 0 winners against Capella Bar in this Group D Kappa Silver Boot match. Thank you.